What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Hunting for the People. Before I start, I just wanna say thank you again to all my new subscribers. I think at this point in time, I'm sitting around 930 subscribers. So thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. From videos last year, I had uh, two giveaways that I was doing when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So the quicker I hit the 1,000 subscribers, the uh, faster I can potentially give away two free uh, items to one of the uh, thousand subscribers. So yeah, this week we have a buy. We don't play football this week. So that means that we have a little bit more time for some activities. Head down to our home field because the uh, second team, the Rogue Invaders are playing today. So one thing that I do on uh, a weekend where I don't play football is actually become a part of the fan base and watch football because interestingly enough, I love to watch the game. Let's get Ready and uh, head down to the home field to watch a Rogan Vader's play today. We are on our way to Philosophenweg Dry, which is the Invader's home field. We're gonna drive there and hopefully get some cool um, football game day food as well while we're there, which will be exciting. So while we are on our way to the game, I thought I would start discussing my journey through football. So I started playing American football in 2014 uh, in Brisbane. I played two years, 2014 and 2015, with the Bayside Ravens. Uh, and then I played 2016 with the Griffith University Thunder, also in Brisbane. That was because I was originally meant to go over to America to play uh, junior college. Um, that unfortunately didn't work out, so I uh, stayed in Brisbane uh, and then obviously the two seasons after that, 2017 and last season, I was in Germany with the Monarchs and this season I'm with the Invaders. So uh, yeah, this is my sixth, sixth year, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah, my sixth season playing American football. Um, before that I played Australian Rules Football or AFL, um, I've been playing that since I was about six years old. Um, haven't really played any other sport, kind of made the transition from Australian football over into American football and um, yeah it was interesting which we'll go into a bit further but um, we'll first get to the field and um, enjoy some football. So we've just arrived at the field and as you can see there is a lot of people here Reason being is because the Rogue Invaders, the second team, has won the last three seasons in a row. So they're actually a really successful uh, lower GFL League team. Uh, so this year they're trying to make a rise up again into the further division. I think at the moment they're in the third league. Um, so they're trying to make a rise up into the GFL 2 this season. So we're going to go check out their first game of the season and see how they go. What's up? Hey guys. What's going on? Let's go, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. Good, good, bro. Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. 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 better way to spend a Sunday in Germany than with a Radler, the Wurst, or the Schinken Griller. Prost. Invaders kicking a field goal to potentially win the game right now. <laughs> oh, Unfortunately, it wasn't good. It's fourth quarter. It's currently 14-14. Little correction as well is um, the Invaders' the second team is actually in the fourth league, not the third league. So that's my mistake. So they're currently playing in the first season in the fourth league, um, trying to come up into the third. So it's 
currently 14 all. They've um, just missed the field goal, but if they can stand on defense, they might have another chance to win the game. So unfortunately it was a loss for the second team. It was 20 to 14. Um, a late interception gave Hanover, the Grizzlies, a uh, late lead. But I mean, it's their first game in the fourth league. They've gone through, I think, the last two or three seasons unbeaten to get up to that point. So, you know, it was a valiant effort by the Rogue Invaders. Uh, but unfortunately, just a couple things just didn't go their way. Uh, but it's a long season and hopefully they can get a few wins. Uh, I was meant to talk to you guys about uh, football and what got me into football. But being that I love the game so much, I was a little bit taken in by the actual stuff happening on the field. So we're going to head home now set up and um, have more of a chat around why I do what I do and why I enjoy it so much. We are back home and the birds are chirping. Literally the only thing that makes noise in this place are the birds. But we are back home so we're gonna get warm because it's starting to get cold even though the sun's out because we're in Germany. It's always windy or cold or something. But we're gonna go inside and we're gonna continue on with the vlog. Okay, so as I mentioned, I wanted to go back into a little bit more detail as to what drives me to play football or what keeps me interested. Obviously, um, playing a game like AFL for so many years and changing sport, there has to be a reason behind that. One of the major reasons was obviously work. Uh, I was working a job that I couldn't continue to play AFL with, um, so I had to find another sport, which, um, which is where American football fa uh, fit in. But um, also one of the biggest things is I've always been a avid watcher of NFL um, and followed college football quite closely but I never really considered doing it myself. Um, it wasn't until I actually started training with the Bayside Ravens back in 2014 that um, I truly kind of found a passion for the game itself, not just watching it. Obviously most Australians that begin playing American football uh, have played Madden on PlayStation or, or some kind of gaming console that I did as well. Um, but that wasn't really the driving factor to playing American football. It was more um, I love the game on television and then obviously um, after my first training I went down and, and ran some routes and did some drills and I just kind of found myself uh, really engaged with the sport and then also um, very, I think, intrigued by the possibilities involved in the sport as well. What do I mean when I say uh, intrigued by football? Um, number one is the movements in American football are completely different to the movements that I've been used to in Australian football. Australian football is all about long distance running, being physically fit and athletic enough where you can continue at a high intensity for the longest period of time. And when it comes to American football, the intensity that I'm doing the distance at when it comes to American football is at a lot higher intensity and it is for short bursts of, of explosiveness or strength. So it was a completely different um, exercise for me, which I found very intriguing. Everything like that I've never been exposed to. So that gained my interest as well as the game itself. It kind of had me dive head first in the game. Like after my first two years of playing or a year and a half of playing, I was looking at going over to college, uprooting my life and moving over to a different country to study but really just to continue on a more professional path in my football career. You know, it's not like I'm just going down and kicking a football at the park. I'm moving over to another country for seven, eight months of, of a year, basically using a whole year of my life to, to improve and play the game of football. And this was two, just over two, three years of playing it. I spent 17, 18 years playing American, uh, Australian football and never once thought about doing it in another country or playing at a different level or um, I was kind of just content with what I was doing. Whereas with American football, I found myself almost addicted to the game and wanting to grow further with the game as well. So that's where I came to Germany. Uh, and now being that football is my nine to five job while I'm in Germany, also when I'm going home in the off season, I still find it's still like my nine to five. I work in the off season to continue to be able to play football in season. I'm not saving for a house or saving for a car like most people are. I'm saving to make the 
season the next year more comfortable for me or the ability to do more things around football, but also uh, the ability to continue to play football. So that's a huge thing. Begin to mold your entire life around the game, which is something that I didn't really do prior with Australian football. So that's another reason why I use the terms um, addicting because realistically, everything I'm doing, I'm doing for football. Um, it's kind of like I'm an addict of football. So it's, it's definitely a different feeling and a different um, mindset uh, compared to what I've had in previous sports. But guys, that is the vlog. It is a different vlog this week. Um, it's something I wanna do is churn out vlogs uh, constantly throughout the week as well. So I don't wanna leave you with nothing. I'd rather leave you with something like this than with nothing at all. Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. If you enjoyed it a lot, please subscribe. Uh, this weekend we are playing Potsdam in Potsdam. It's our first game of the GFL season, first game, uh, official game. Until next time guys, I'll say see you later. And, uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, all the videos that Punning for the People is uh, making for you guys. So, see you later.